Hey guys, right, today I'm going to do two variations on um, like sunset nails or tequila sunrise nails as I like to call them. Um, this one was created using four of the CND additives from the Paradise Collection. And this one was created using four of the Neon Nail Shadows by Irresistible. So what I'll do, I'll show you how to do both. And if you're interested in... Um, knowing how I did this on my nails, I'll put a link to the video that I did for that one on stamping. So I'll get my stuff ready and then I'll come okay, back. I'm going to start with the Paradise Collection additives. So this one is Pink Lotus. This one is Island Heat. This is Tropic Sunrise and this one is Midnight Tide. So I've got a colour pop here with cream puff. That's two coats. You can top coat it first and then put the additives on, but I like to do it straight onto cream puff, so it's however you want to do it. So I've decanted a little bit in each lid. I'm going to start with the pink and just want to press this into the top. And all we're trying to achieve is just like a graduated effect. So work out roughly four sections of the nail and then do your four colours. So pat it in. It doesn't have to be neat. I quite like it when they, the colours merge together. And this blue one I really love because it almost looks like sand on the bottom. Right, when the additives go on, they do look fairly matte, but obviously when they're top coated, that will change and the colours will really stand out. So once you're happy with your nail, just get just feather it down, just to get rid of the excess. And then what I'm going to do, now you can either go over this with clearly pink, um, but I'm actually going to top coat it because obviously we're going to stamp over the top of it. So I'll go and do that and then I'll come back. Okay, so that's that nail top coated. So I'm going to do the stamping all at the same time. So that one's ready to go. Now I've also got my Irresistible Neon Nail Shadows ready as well. This one is Snake Bite. This one is Day Glow. The yellow is Graffiti. And the blue is Hip Hop. So I'm going to get my Colourpop ready for this one. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing. Now with these you need to press rather than burnish. With the additives you can almost rub those in. With these neon ones you need to press them. Now, it's not coming across on camera unfortunately but these are true neons. They're really really bright and I'll put the links in the description bar where you can get all these additives and nail shadows from. So just press into the cream puff. So yeah, sorry, this is CND shellac we're using today. Cream puff. Which is a very pigmented white colour. And it really brings out the colour of these neons. Onto the blue, so press and these are really nice colours for summer. It'd be great on toes actually this design. 
Right, so there's the neon nail shadows. So I'll go and top coat that one and then I'll come back and do some stamping. Okay, so those nails are ready for stamping onto now. So today I'm going to be using my Moyu stamper, extra large squishy one, my Conad scraper, my Conad black special polish, and the plate I'm going to be using today is from the Time Traveller collection by Moyu London, and it's really nice. It's back to the 80s plate number four, and you've got some real cool 80s images on here like Space Invaders or Madonna, animal print, zebra print. And I'm going to be using this, these palm trees today. I'm actually just going to be using these two. So when I put the polish on, I'll section this, this one off. So I get my stuff ready and we'll get going. Okay, right, I'm going to be stamping on the Paradise Additives one first. So my plate's cleaned off. Just want to give my stamper a quick clean. And then I'm going to work really quickly now, so we need to fill this whole image or the bit that you want with polish because otherwise you're not going to get a good pick up on these because these are really deeply etched plates. So all I'm going to do is pick up the image and then you can be a bit more careful than me but get that image on there as quick as you can and there you go and that looks really cool I think I did miss off a bit at the top but these colour pops are so curved they're quite difficult to stamp on so all you do now is top coat that and cure it with your shellac top coat and then you're done so what I'll do I'll do the neon one as well to show you so I'll just clean my plate off with acetone Clean off the stamper, and then I'll get my neon one ready. So exactly the same again. Really fill that with polish. And then work quickly, scrape off the excess. Pick up your image and then roll it onto there. And there you go, that was a better, better image. I actually think I prefer the neon one because it's a lot brighter. But I'll top coat these and see what they look like at the end. Okay, so these are the finished nails. These are the neon nail shadows and these are the CND additives. And I love these because they're so bright. But I also love these because I love the midnight tide on the bottom. It actually looks like um, shimmering sea, which is really nice. So if you've got both collections, obviously you can mix and match to get the effect that you wanted. But I think this is a really cool look for summer. Lovely on toes. Great for holidays. Um, and really super easy. So yeah, I'll put everything in the description bar of where I've bought everything and what I've used and yeah i think that's it so i'm on instagram um at the real mrs gray if you want to check me out on there and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you again soon bye